everybody, Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And John and I are on the Celebrity Beyond and we are going to do a full ship tour and take you along. Here we go. We start out on deck two forward and the only thing located on deck two forward is the medical facility and let's hope that you never need it, but we're gonna show you where it is. So it's just off the two forward elevator bank. You come out of the elevator and it's right here. They do ask that you make an appointment. Of course, if it's an emergency, you can call them from your stateroom. And here are the hours. And there is the number to call to make an appointment. And that's the medical facility. And now we will go to two aft and we'll see you there. Here we are on deck two aft, the elevator bank. And what we'll find here, our destination gateway, the basement and restrooms. Continuing on through the elevator bank, First, we come up on the basement. And the basement is a hangout for the teenagers. I don't think we can get in here, but let's see. No, it's locked. Oh, we could take a little peek inside. It's basically like a, a hangout den for teenagers. They have a ping pong table. I believe there's a foosball table. They have video games, different things, and they have different activities for them to participate in if they wish. Just outside here, there's a little schedule. Well, there's some different activities that they offer. That's for today while we're in St. Martin. Continuing on to the gangway. There are two restrooms right here to the left. So if you need to use the restroom before you get off the ship to go in port or just when you get back on, there's one right here at the gangway. They call it Destination Gateway and it's a large open space. They have one area for exit and one for entrance. where you go off the ship and tells you all aboard time and that's where you would enter to come back on the ship and there's security if you go here a glass doorway that opens automatically that says Grand Plaza on it and that's the staircase and that will take you right up to the martini bar that does it for deck two now we will head up to deck three we'll see you there here we are on deck three forward elevator bank and the only thing located here is camp at sea and that is where the kids go for their activities and we're gonna be able to show you it's just off the elevator bank three forward. When you come out of the elevator, there it is. And we can't go inside because there's children, but we can show you the entrance. And no, there's a child over there, so we're not gonna go in. But I can show you over on this side, there's nobody. And I can show you a little bit of this side. There we go. It looks lovely. We don't have any little ones, so I can't tell you what it's like, but, oh, they have a little board here that tells you what the activities for the day are. I'll give you an idea of some of the things that they do. Moving on to deck three aft, and we'll see you there. Here we are, deck three aft, elevator bank. And what we will see here, we're actually going to go 
forward of the elevator bank and we will show you the Grand Plaza, the Martini Bar, the Guest Relations and Celebrity Eye Lounge. And then after we do that, we will continue aft of the elevator bank and show you two of the four main dinings, Normandy and Tuscan. We are now in the Grand Plaza area where the Martini Bar is located and we are midship. So we came off of the deck three aft elevators and we walked towards midship to show you to start here. So this is the martini bar. It's an absolutely beautiful space. And there's a staircase here that goes up and another staircase to a little crow's nest area, I would call it. There's some seating up there. And then there's a little bit of a half level down. There's additional seating. And you can walk up to Cafe Albaccio. That's where that's up there is Cafe Albaccio. And there's seating all along the wall here. The Martini Bar is a very popular place to hang out. In the evenings, they play live music and there's lots and lots of people hanging around, having cocktails and thoroughly enjoying themselves. Beautiful, beautiful space. Continuing towards aft, the Martini Bar or the Grand Plaza area opens up into the guest relations area. And this is where the guest relations desk is located. And there are three desks with six spots for representatives to assist you. And there are comfortable seating areas around. The first day of the cruise and the last day of the cruise are typically very busy. So there's some nice seating areas for you if you need to wait around. And on the opposite end is where the eye lounge is located. The eye lounge is where you would come for any of your onboard internet issues. They also are a Apple reseller. So you could purchase Apple products here. They have laptops for you to use complimentary. You need to use your own Wi-Fi package that you've purchased, but you can use their laptops complimentary. And that's the eye lounge. And I'm gonna turn around and show you the full space of the eye lounge and guest relations. It's very, very nice. It's very open, very modern feel to it. And of course, beautiful decor. So there's the elevator bank that we came off of when we came on to deck three aft. I'm gonna walk down here and we're going to show you two of the main dining room restaurants. Remember, there's no one main dining room. There are four separate, two here on deck three aft and two on deck four just above them. I just wanna point something out. As you walk down this hallway, You'll see the panels of the wall slowly turn towards open and inside you can actually see the hull of the ship. Very cool. Okay, continuing on, we're going to head towards Tuscan. Look at the art. Everything on this ship is gorgeous. I know I keep saying that, but it is. This is our first time on the Beyond. We've been on the edge five times in the Apex twice. There's access to cabins that are on deck three. And here are some restrooms just outside of 
the restaurants down here. And this is Tuscan. Tuscan is the first of the main dining restaurants that I'm gonna show you. Each restaurant is has a separate theme inspired look, feel, and menu. So Tuscan is Italian themed. And I'm just gonna take a quick walk through to show you what it looks like. It sounds like they're setting up for dinner. I love the sunflowers on the table. Here is your hostess stand where you would check in. I highly recommend you make reservations before you get on the ship. They fill up quickly and are nearly impossible, if not impossible to get once you're on the ship. So this is Tuscan. Just outside of Tuscan is a staircase to your immediate left. That staircase goes up to deck four where the other two main dining room restaurants are. On all the edge class ships here in the center, they have some type of a bronze art installation. Beautiful. And just across from Tuscan is Normandy. Normandy is French inspired. And let's take a quick walk through. I love that each dining room has its own separate decor and theme and setup. So you feel like you're eating in a specialty restaurant every night at no additional charge. This is Normandy. And that will do it for us on deck three. We're gonna head up to deck four and we will see you there. Now we are on deck four forward at the elevator bank. And on deck four forward, the places that we will show you are the theater, the meeting place, some shops, those are retail stores and restrooms. And then we will continue on to aft. And we will show you the Cosmopolitan restaurant, the Cypress restaurant, the casino, the club, La Voyage, which is another paid specialty restaurant, Cafe Albaccio, Le Grand Bistro, another specialty restaurant, Craft Social Bar, which is also the sports bar, Future Cruise Vacations, Shore Excursions, the Photo Gallery, Shops, which is more retail, and Restrooms. Forward of the Deck 4 Forward Elevators is the first deck of the theater. The theater spans decks three and four, and this is the entrance for Deck 4. And we'll also go up to Deck 5 and show you what it looks like up there, because it's a different point of view. The theater here is amazing. Ah, they're actually doing something with the backdrop. So you can actually see how gorgeous it is. Right here to the right is a staircase that you can go up to deck five. In the back, they have on either side, a bar counter where you can sit at stools. This is also where they have the handicapped seating. It's very easily accessible. And they have two rows all the way across. The screen for the theater is amazing on the Edge Class ships. As you can see, it's about 180 degrees and it's digital. That full screen that you see is a digital photo on or a digital image on the screen and they can change it to whatever they want. It's absolutely amazing. And the stage, there's two circles on the stage. I don't know if you can see the outline of them, but they both turn. It's just 
a phenomenal theater. It's absolutely gorgeous. And there's plenty of seating. Celebrity does it a little bit different than other cruise lines. They show two shows per evening in the theater, one at seven and one at nine, typically. And it is the same show for that day. The next day they show a different show and they don't repeat any of the shows. There is a marquee outside of the theater. There are restrooms on, this, on uh, both sides. There's a gentleman and a ladies. And there's a marquee that will show you what's going to be on that evening. So it's still the morning, so they just have this up for the director, the cruise director, Luigi. But later on in the day, they will show you what entertainment or show is going to be in the theater that evening. And walking across on deck four forward, on the other side, just outside the other entrance to the theater is the meeting place. The meeting place is an area where you would go if you wanted to have a larger group meeting. Doors open and we're gonna take a peek and see if we can see inside. So here's one room and then there's another room in the back. There's a door here and there's another room and they actually have a meeting going on. So we're not gonna disturb them, but it's nice to know that there's two rooms in there. And then this is the other side of the theater, the other entrance, still on deck four forward. Okay, now we are going to head towards aft, still on deck four. And just off of the elevator bank, so we're back at the elevator bank where we started, is an area called the club. And at the club, they have many social events. They host trivia here. Today, they are having pub, a pub quiz. And then tonight, they will have live music. So they will show you a rotation of what they having, have going on. And then at 11.15 tonight, they'll have a DJ and it will become a dance club. They're playing uh, a game show, The Feud, Officers versus Guests, and then back to the pub quiz. So they have lots of things. They also show movies in here. They have a large screen to show movies during the day, sometimes in the evening. And this is a very pretty, bright, and open space. It's really the perfect spot for the types of activities that they host here. There's a lot of seating, and they are in small groups and large groups, and there's chairs and sofas, and it's really a great space. They have their own bar. And this actually spans two decks. It's deck four that we're on and deck five. And that up there is the deck five space. Like I said, this place is deceiving. It holds lots of people. And there's a staircase that you can come down from deck five or go, or go up to deck five. And there's an actual entrance on deck five as well. And I will show you that when we tour deck five. There's the dance floor because in the evening, this becomes a dance club. And we will head back out and see what else there is to see on deck four. And outside the club, just across the way, is a retail store. Just outside the club here by the elevator bank is an ATM machine. It's currently out of service, but to let you know the location of one. And as I was saying, across the way is one of the retail stores. And 
Here they sell the X collection, which is uh, all kinds of items that have the celebrity branding on them. And they have resort wear. And this is the liquor store. And then continuing towards aft, just past this store, connected to it, is another retail store called Attraction. And in Attraction, they have, on the one side, they have some additional clothing, and on the other side, they have skincare and perfume. Just opposite Attraction is the Future Cruise office. This is where you would come to book a future cruise. When you get here, if there are other people waiting ahead of you, you just sign in at this kiosk, can tap your CPAS card and enter your information, and then you will be added to the wait list. And then there are five desks here with representatives that are able to assist you with the best cruise for you. No time better to book a cruise than when you're on a cruise. And they offer typically quite nice incentives for booking while you're still on. Just past attractions is the studio. And the studio is exactly what you would think it would be. It is a photography studio where you would make an appointment to have a private photo session for you and your loved ones that are on your cruise with you. The actual session itself is complimentary and the only thing you would pay for is the photos that you choose to purchase from it. Just past that is the shore excursions. And this is where you would come to book an excursion while you're on board for your current cruise or to have something serviced that you booked online ahead of time. In addition, they have a destination concierge over here in the corner, and that would be somebody that would be able to assist you. And all of these kiosks are self-help. You can just tap your card in and look and see what excursions they have for you. And someone is here during the hours that they're open to assist you. Next, we have the photo gallery. And this is where you would see all of your photos that they have taken of you during your cruise. You just tap your card here and it will pull up all of the photos that they've taken of you so far. And you can choose which ones you'd like to purchase, if any. And they do have packages. Somebody will be here during their hours that they're open to assist you. Just opposite the photo gallery are two restrooms. There's a ladies and a gents. Continuing towards aft, we come into the Grand Plaza area. And immediately to our left is Cafe Albaccio. There are quite a few people here, even though we are in port today. The ship is usually more empty than this. So we're gonna do our best to just respect people's privacy and scan around pretty quickly. So this is the Cafe El Baccio coffee bar. This is where you would come to order something to go. And then all of these tables and chairs here, you can sit and lounge for as long as you'd like. And someone will come to you and take your order and then they will serve it to you. There is a display of desserts. I'm going to try to show you. In the mornings, it's muffins and pastries and croissants. And then around noon, they change it over to cakes and cupcakes and brownies and cookies. And this is complimentary. Every day they have a gluten-free option and a no sugar added option. So the snacks, the cakes are complimentary. The coffees and the drinks are not. They come with a charge. 
If you have a classic drink package, most are included. If you have the premium drink package, I believe all are included. Cafe Al Baccio on this side looks over into the Grand Plaza slash Martini Bar area. And I know we were just down there on deck three, but I wanted to show you what it looked like from up here. So any of the seats that you see along this glass wall, you can sit and listen to the music as they play live music down there in the evenings. And it's open to decks three, four, and five. Look at that beautiful chandelier. We're gonna take you over there now and show you what's on the opposite side. So let's continue to walk through Cafe El Baccio to show you everything. And we'll see what's along the way. There's a staircase here that will go up to deck five. And continuing around, look at this wall. These look like dogwood flowers. They are gorgeous. Zoom in on one for you. Look at the detail on that, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and show you the view of the martini bar from up here. The Beyond is very different than the other ships in the Edge class. The Edge and the Apex are very similar to each other, and the Beyond is different. They did quite a bit of tweaking. So this area looks very different than it does on the Edge and the Apex. Lots of seating. You can see that there's two different decks that you can sit and enjoy in different areas, enjoy the music, watch the shows at the martini bar that the bartenders put on. It's a great space. Just opposite Cafe El Baccio is the Craft Social Bar. This is the ship's sports bar. This is where they have a large screen and several TVs where they show popular current sporting events that are televised. I'm not a sports person, but I know that there's always a lot of yelling coming from here and people wearing different jerseys from different teams. Nice space. And just behind that is Le Grand Bistro. And this is Le Grand Bistro during the day. And in the evening, it is La Petite Chef. They are both in the same location. It just converts to La Petite Chef in the evening. These are both a specialty restaurant that has a charge with it. And this is like a like a French cafe for the morning and lunch. And then again in the evening, it becomes La Petite Chef. If you need a reservation and there is a charge. And going full around, this is La Voyage. This is the first on any of the celebrity ships. This is Daniel Baloud's, who is the exclusive chef for Celebrity Cruise Lines. And this is his restaurant. So this is the first on any cruise ship. And let's take a peek inside. This is the check-in area, the hostess stand. And we'll take a quick peek in. They're closed right now. What a beautiful space. There are about 20 tables in here. It's not very large but it is gorgeous. Let's just take a quick walk around. So pretty, so pretty. The table setting, very, very pretty. 
they have these like nets around the sections so that it offers you a sense of more intimacy and privacy while you're dining. Very lovely. And that is La Voyage. Back out and we are going to continue on past Cafe Obachi again. So we just went around in a circle. So just That's all we did was go around in a circle. Continuing aft. Up here on the right is the casino. We're just gonna do a quick walk through the casino because we did a individual casino tour already and you can see that on our channel. Across from the casino are some shops. This one is called Time Is Now, and it is a watch shop. There are three entrances to the casino. This is the first, and it's open here along the hallway across from the shops. Like I said, we're just gonna do a quick walk through. Casino's closed because we are in port. We're in St. Thomas today. Off of Craft Social, where I showed you a few minutes ago, that's the second entrance. I'm just gonna walk down the center so you can get a good visual. But check out the full casino tour. We go very slow and I show you every individual machine and every individual gaming table. Here's the cashier. And that is the third ent entrance exit over there. We're gonna go back out where we came in We just did a circle walk around the casino floor. And we're gonna go back where we came in because there's shops on the other side that I want you to see as well. We're coming back out to Time Is Now Watch Store. And they also have lovely jewelry. There are no shortages of things to buy on this ship, that's for sure. And then there's another section of jewelry, and this is Effie. Beautiful showcase. And next to that is a shop. It's called Sense of Self, and they sell high-end handbags, some clothing, scarves, some jewelry, and sunglasses. Just past the Sense of Self store, there are two restrooms. So if you are at Cafe El Baccio, the Martini Bar, any of these shops, the casino, these would be the restrooms that you would utilize. Just past these restrooms are the other two main dining restaurants. We saw the first two on deck three. These are the other two on deck four. This is Cyprus, which is a Greek inspired theme. We're gonna take a quick walk through just to show you what it looks like. All of these are beautiful. Their decor and their setup is unique to each other and they all have their own individual menu. 
this is cypress so pretty i mean there's nothing nothing on this ship that isn't just gorgeous it really is it 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 reminds me of a five-star resort it's absolutely beautiful i like the smaller dining to me it gives a better experience the smaller the dining room i feel like the service is better more attentive it's just a better overall experience these stairs lead up to deck five and that's where blue is located and these stairs lead down to deck three and that's where the other two main dining rooms that i showed you earlier are located across from cyprus is the cosmopolitan and just as a point of reference this is the third entrance to the casino that I showed you last. That was the last one that I showed you when we walked through the casino a few minutes ago. This is Cosmopolitan and it is a American inspired theme menu. And remember I said each one is decorated differently. Each one has its own feel look and unique menu and doing some kind of work or something in here so sorry for that knocking in the background absolutely beautiful this is the wine for the cosmopolitan the wine showcase it's gorgeous okay so that will do it for us for deck four we're going to head to deck five and we'll see you there here we are on deck five forward at the elevator bank. And on deck five forward, we're going to show you deck five theater, the captain's club and concierge, and some restrooms. And then we will continue to go aft and we will show you Eden, Blue. Blue is the main dining for aqua class guests. The world class bar, Fine Cut Steakhouse, which is a specialty restaurant. Raw on Five, which is a specialty restaurant, the sushi. Shops, more retail stores, and the restrooms. So just going forward of the forward elevators on deck five, we're going to show you the deck five entrance to the theater and we will take you in and show you the point of view from deck five. I was hoping that they would have changed the back screen, but they haven't. So right here to the right, there's a staircase that goes down to deck four. And they're actually rehearsing Let's go up a little. There's a little step up here. And just like on deck four, there's a counter in the back on both sides with some stools. And they have some handicapped seating up here. And let's go over here and we'll be able to show you a full shot. They're doing rehearsal right now for one of the shows the production staff. And this is deck five of the theater. It's beautiful. So earlier I was telling you about the different shows that they put on in here. Half of the nights there is the production shows and those are performed by the crew the production entertainment crew. And then the other nights, they have guest entertainers. Those guest entertainers can include something like a comedian or perhaps a singer, a magician, different things of that nature. We're going to walk across the back. Let me show you one more time. Deck five.
And we're walking across the back of deck five through the theater. So I wanna come out on the other side because that's where the concierge and captain's club is located. There are restrooms just outside the theater. And straight ahead is captain's club and concierge. Captain's club is where you would come to discuss anything related to captain's club, which is Celebrity Cruise Line's loyalty program. When you go on a cruise for the first time with Celebrity, you get assigned a Captain's Club number and then that's your number. It's like your frequent flyer number with uh, Celebrity Cruises. And you earn points for every night that you are on a cruise and the points vary depending on the type of cabin that you stay in. And as you continue to earn points, you get to different status levels and each one of those levels comes with perks or benefits. And then concierge is for the concierge class guests that needed anything done for them that a concierge would do. Let's take a peek inside and see if anyone's here, if we could show you the office at least. What is your name? My name is Justine. I'm the captain's club concierge on board. Okay, yeah. so can you explain to me what the I know it says Captain's Club, and then yes. it says, and concierge. Yes, for the Captain's Club is actually, of course, the loyalty program of celebrity. Yeah. Concierge is the concierge for the concierge class guests. So as you can see, your aqua class, you're holding the blue, light blue card. Concierge, they are the guests who's holding the gold card. So they're like your mom. You have somebody who will take good care of you for anything, everything that you need throughout the group. Dining reservations, shore excursions. Debarkation. Um, check in on your flight and printing your boarding passes on the last day. You go into guest relations and line up there. You have a, um, an exclusive access to this office and you have your own concierge to take good care of. So it's like my ordinary suite. We have yes, it's okay, yes. like with your ordinary suite, you have your retreat concierges. Yes. yes. So here as well, if you are in the concierge, that's one of your benefits that you, you pay for. Nice to meet you, Justine. Yes, this is the yes. concierge and captain's club lounge. You can just pop in. They have certain hours. So there are two uh, representatives that would be in here. One would be the captain's club representative and the other is the concierge. We are now going to continue aft. We're still in the forward part of the ship, but we're going to be walking in the aft direction. And this is the elevator bank where we started, five forward. And this is the deck five of the club. Just gonna take a quick pop in because we showed it to you from deck four. And there's some seating here. And just a quick look around. And this is the upper deck on deck five of the club. And continuing back out, just opposite is Park West Gallery. Park West Gallery is a art gallery company that has a relationship with celebrity as well as most, if not all, of the other major cruise lines. And they have an art gallery on the ship and they have seminars that provide you with information. Very interesting. They also have art auctions. The auctions are free to attend. You do not have to buy anything by any means, but you definitely will learn something. It's something to try, something different. I recommend that you go to an art auction at least once, just for the experience of it. And now we are headed into the Grand Plaza. And this is deck five, Grand Plaza. And up here on the left, we're going to be coming up to the Raw on Five, which is the sushi bar. And on our right is the World Class Bar. The World Class Bar is where you would come for 
unique and different and exotic cocktails. They are some of the best, if not the best, bartenders on the ship, is what we've been told. And we're just gonna walk around and show you. So there's lots of seating out here. And here's the actual bar. And that is the chandelier from above the martini bar in the Grand Plaza. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets us know what you like and, and it helps out the channel a lot. Crow's nest seating area here. And it looks down on the martini bar. As I said, the Grand Plaza, I called it the Grand Foyer before, and that's what they call it on other celebrity cruise ships, but on this one they call it the Grand Plaza, is open to decks three, four, and five. So that's Cafe Obaccio down there. And now we're going to go over to the Raw on Five, which is another specialty restaurant. It is their sushi restaurant. It's not a large space, but it is definitely a beautiful space. I think you guys are getting the theme here. This is a beautiful ship. And just a quick look around. And that is Raw on Five. Continuing on, headed in the aft direction. We're gonna go across, there's a little bridge that crosses over here. And on the opposite side of Raw on Five is Fine Cut Steakhouse. Just let me give you a full look here. So that's where we just were. That's Raw on Five over here. And down there at the end is the World Class Bar. And the Martini Bar below. How about that chandelier? Gorgeous. And there's a bridge across. And this is another one of the specialty dining restaurants. So you can go online onto celebrity.com and go into your reservation and you can make a reservation. I highly recommend you do that before you get on the ship because they offer discounts. I've never seen it where they haven't offered a discount, but generally speaking, they offer discounts if you book ahead of time for their specialty restaurants. And you can save anywhere as much as 30% by pre-booking. So you would book it, choose your date and time from what's available and prepay it. So this is Fine Cut Steakhouse. Here we are, deck five aft elevator bank. And on deck five aft, we will see Eden Blue, some additional retail shops, and some restrooms. Okay, we're gonna stay on this side of the ship and walk forward into, we're still heading aft, and walk into the area where there are more shops. Here they have Bulgari. On the opposite side over here, they have Cartier. And Schaefhausen, I don't know what that is. It looks like watches. And it's a very pretty area. 
This is the deck five aft elevator bank just off of the shops here. And now we're continuing in the aft direction. There's a nice cozy seating area over here. It's a great spot to sit, have a cocktail in the evening before or after dinner, or just come and hang out, read a book. It's very nice. Beautiful, beautiful decor and very comfortable furniture. And now we're gonna walk into the crazy hallway. They have one of these on every Edge class ship. This one is called the Odyssey. And I'm gonna hold this here for a second and it tells all about this hallway and what we're going to be walking through. And if you wanna to continue to read and this isn't enough time, you can pause your device. Okay, let's walk through Odyssey. And the mirrored walls makes it look even more dimensional than it already is. These are bronze sculptures hanging from the ceiling, hanging on the walls, on the floor. And this is how you get to deck five aft. And just outside of Odyssey, is a staircase that goes down and that's to deck where two of the main four. dining restaurants are that we showed you earlier cyprus and the cosmopolitan are down those stairs and then tuscan and normandy are below that look at these flowers oh my goodness this is so gorgeous it's a bronze sculpture over here, there are two more. They look like they are deer. And just past that on the right is, this is something that's new. They don't have this on the other ships. It is La Maison du Chocolat from Paris. It's a small fancy chocolate shop just outside of blue on your way to Eden and here's blue blue is the main dining for aqua class guests and we're just gonna take a quick peek in no reservations are needed as you can see the theme is blue and it is beautiful I love the cobalt blue. And look at that chandelier. And there's one that goes all along the ceiling. And this is blue. This is where you would eat breakfast and dinner. Blue does not serve lunch and no you reservations show up are needed. At about the same and time every evening. They will do their best to seat you in the same table with the same server if you so desire. And now we are entering the space called Eden. Before we get there, there's a shop on your left called Mankind. And They sell Mont Blanc and they have some Louis Vuitton. And just different kinds of things in here. Jewelry, they have some John Hardy. So it seems like it's a lot of different brands in here. And here we are at Eden. Eden is a very unique space. 
unlike any on any cruise ship I've ever seen before. So there are spaces here to sit. There's a restroom right here. And very pretty wall. There's a lot of very pretty art and decor in here. Very unique. And there's the gentleman's restroom. There's an exit to go outside. We'll show you that after. Eden is a place to come and hang out. They have a cafe that's open you every can day come here for lunch. and eat. You can have a drink. They have their own bar. They have entertainment in the evening, in the later part of the evening. They have these really unique shows on some nights. And we're just going to walk all the way through. Eden spans decks four, five, and six. We are currently on deck five. I will show you deck five, then we'll go down to deck four where the actual Eden restaurant is, and then we will go up to deck six to show you what's up there. So this is the Eden Cafe. It is open for breakfast and lunch. They do kind of a continental breakfast. And for lunch, they have sandwiches, paninis, soup, I'm actually going to try and show you the menu. And if you need longer to read it, you can pause your device. So you just come here and you place your order and they'll let you know when it's ready. Over here on this side, they have a salad bar where you can tell them what you want and they'll make you a salad. There's a drink station and you can eat your food inside or you can go out. They have an outside dining. It's the Eden Outdoor Cafe seating. very bright and you can sit outside and eat if you'd like okay back inside we're gonna walk through the cafe and I'll show you additional seating areas so you can sit at any of these tables and have what you ordered from the cafe or you can come and sit in here, and there's all this seating in here. And you could sit here and you can eat in the evening, come here and have a cocktail. They have their own bar. And they have performers in the evening. They play live music. And then, as I said, later on in the evening, they have these different shows. They're very artsy. I highly recommend you go to at least one of them. This is deck five. Actually, I said I was gonna go down to deck four, but I'm not. I'm gonna go down, up to deck six first. So walk past the bar, and it's a lot of just different seating areas up here. Three steps up, and then five steps up. And I'm gonna show you there's an elevator, specifically for Eden, if you're unable to navigate the stairs. So this is, it's like halfway between deck five and deck six. You could bring your food up here or you can sit up here in the evening. You could have a cocktail. And this goes all the way around. It's a great spot to sit while we're at sea or coming into port or leaving port. I'm just going to give you a quick look around. That's where we were just now below there. That's on deck five. So this takes you up, like I said, halfway and it 
elevates slightly as we go around and it's gonna take us up to deck six. There's all these seating areas with these beautiful windows and amazing views. We're in St. Thomas today. No, we're in St. Martin today. Hello, welcome to St. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be on our YouTube channel. Amazing. So this is the lift. This is on deck six and it's also located on deck five and deck four. If you are unable to navigate the stairs, I'll show you where it's located on deck five and deck four as well. So as you see, we came up those stairs down there. We walked up those three, turned a little bit to the left, walked up those six, and then we walked all the way around on that bridge. And it, like I said, it's on a slow elevation. And now we're on deck six. This is the seating area for the cafe that we showed you when we first walked in. If you attend one of the shows in the later part of the evening, they're like 10, 1030, this is where I recommend you come and sit. I think it's the best seat in the house. This space gets very, very crowded. So you wanna come here like 45 minutes early, come sit, have a cocktail, hang out, relax. And then when the show starts, you've got the best seat in the house, I believe. Down there, it gets very crowded and there's a lot of people. And unless you're in the very front, there's almost always somebody blocking your view. If you sit up here, you have an amazing view. That's one of my tips for coming to Eden to see the show. Let me back up a little bit and show you. They've got all these wonderful plants hanging. It's just a gorgeous space. Very, very unique and different. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a thumbs up. You just tap the thumbs up button. Let's us know that you like it and it really helps out the channel quite a bit. There's two steps up for another seating area. No shortage of places to sit, that's for sure. So again, if, you, if you're enjoying this video, just tap that thumbs up button. It really helps us out a lot and it lets us know what you like. Now we're going to go back down to deck five. So there's four steps here. And another four. So they're like half decks. And another four. Getting my steps in today, that's for sure. And we're back down where we started. This is the dance floor or the performance floor where the performers do their shows at night. And I'm going to take you over here and show you where the lift is. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the lift up there on six where I just was. This is the lift on deck, on deck five. So if you need a lift to go up or an elevator. That's where you would take it from deck five to either go up to deck four, to either go up to deck six or down to deck four. And here's the staircase to go down to deck four. Deck four is where the actual Eden restaurant is located. John and I ate at Eden for the first time for my birthday last week on the edge and it was delicious. You can watch that video. We did a actual video of our dining experience on the edge at Eden. And this is the entrance to the restaurant. This is the restaurant seating. Here's the hostess stand where you would check in. 
And these are the views for the Eden restaurant. This is a specialty restaurant, so there has a fee associated with it. It is an open kitchen concept. So you can see them cooking your meal. And they perform live music up there on deck five by the bar, and you can hear that while you're dining. It's not a terribly large space, but it's very popular. I highly recommend that you make a reservation before you get on the ship. And again, if you do go online and book Eden before your cruise, not only will you have the reservation, but you will also get a discount. I just looked it up and right now they're offering 8% off. So this is the Eden restaurant. And now we're gonna go back up to deck five and I'm gonna take you outside and show you the outdoor Eden space. Oh, let me show you this before we do. Down here, there's a little hallway and there's a ramp. And this is where the lift or elevator is located if you are coming to the restaurant. So you go from to deck five into Eden, get on the lift and come down to deck four. And it's just right here, up this ramp. and into the restaurant. Okay, let's go back up to deck five and show you the outdoor space of Eden. There's automatic doors here that go outside. This is the opposite side from where the Eden Cafe dining, outdoor dining was. And again, lots of space. Very pretty out here. And it ends here with a glass wall. And that's inside. You can see the inside of Eden from here. The walls are always painted, very colorful in the Eden space on the outdoor deck. And it has a cover, so you can sit out here and not be sitting in the direct sun. And then this over here has the sail covering, so it's partially covered. And that's the outdoor Eden space. And that will do it for deck five. Decks six through 12 are cabins only. So the next deck that we show you will be deck 14. We'll see you there. Here we are on deck 14 forward. And on deck 14 forward, the only thing located here is the spa and fitness center. And then we will go head aft and we'll show you the Ocean View Cafe, the pool, the solarium, which is the indoor adult pool, the spa cafe and juice bar, the mast grill, and some restrooms. So to the forward of the elevator bank is the spa. So this is the spa and this is the entrance to the spa. This is the reception area. This is where you would check in for a spa service. This is also where you would go to enter for the thermal suite. 
We're just gonna walk in and I'll show you down the hallway. We can't go in because there are other guests here having services, but we'll just show you around the reception area. And up those stairs is the fitness center. Hello, ladies. Hello. So down this hallway, at the end of the hallway is the thermal suite. Let's see if I can and there are the rooms for the spa services. And again, up these stairs on deck 15 is the fitness center. And we will go up there through the elevator. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Now headed in the direction of aft, we are going to enter the solarium. We're back at the forward elevator bank. And this is the adult pool, ages 16 and older. It's an indoor pool and it's quite balmy. On all the other celebrity ships, this room is typically air conditioned, but on this one, it is not. It has a bit of a sauna feel to it. There are lots of chairs. The, the lounges in here are different from the ones out by the pool. They have very nice cushions on them with pillows. And there's the pool and more seating. Lots of spaces under the shade, but there are also spaces in the center that are under the sun so you get the benefits of the sunshine without getting the super hot. Over here is the spa cafe and juice bar. At lunch, they put out light bites. It's kind of a tapas type of serving. And there's lots of different choices, all leaning on the healthier side just to give you an example of some of the things they serve. And then they have a separate menu. You can order some food items. And this is the other side of what they have out. some example of some of the dishes. It is 10 to 2, so they're probably getting ready to close up for the day. They also have a juice bar here, and the juices and the smoothies have a fee associated with them. If you have the premium drink package, it is included. There's also a beverage station over here where you can help yourself to the complimentary juices and coffee and water. And then these are the tables and chairs where you can sit. And this is the juice bar. But again, there's a charge for the juices and the smoothies. So you can, I guess, have them make your whatever you'd like as a juice and a smoothie. So it's nice, you can sit here and eat it or you can take it back to your lounge chair. Also on this deck at the other end is the Ocean View Cafe. So you can get something to eat there and bring it in here as well. There are two restrooms right here in the solarium. There's the ladies room and on the other side is the men's room. Oh, there's a hot tub there, I didn't see that one before, so there's a hot tub here in the solarium as well. There's two, sorry, two side by side. The pool towel situation on Celebrity is a little different than other cruise lines. They put the towels on the chairs for you, and then they also have a towel station where you could grab extras if you'd like. You do not have to go to a towel station and sign out the towel and assign it to your room like you do on a lot of the other cruise lines. Okay, now we are out on the main pool deck and just 
three steps up and another three steps up is the pool bar. Right. You could come here and get a drink yourself or they have servers walking around. And they have some lounge areas as well as lots of lounge chairs. It's a very pretty space. This is like a uh, garden of sorts and at night it lights up. And that tall thing that looks like a champagne glass is a hot tub and there's another one right here. We're standing under it. Up here is a staircase. We might as well take you up and show you. It's just a little, it's like a deck, closed in deck. And it's just seating up here. So it's a, another nice place to come and sit. Completely covered. And it's a good spot to look down. Just one little, oh, this is where the DJ hangs out. Okay. This is the DJ station. Let's give you a look from up here. This is very cool. So there's a center look of the pool. So there's a little bridge off of this little sun deck. Not sun deck, a little shaded area. And there's another one, just like it over here. But this is the smoking side. So for all you smokers, this would be, it's like a half a deck up from deck 14. I don't even know how to describe it. I guess it is deck 15 but you can't access it any way other than through the pool area like we just showed you. So there's a staircase that goes down to deck 14 over here as well. But we're gonna walk back over this bridge because we wanna go back to where we started so we can continue from where we left off. So two seating areas and then there's another staircase that goes up to deck 16. I'm just going to say that the whole 14, 15, 16 decks, there's lots of spaces and there are a lot of spaces that you can't get to except for in one spot, if that makes sense. It can be a little bit confusing and hopefully this video will help you to navigate when you get on the ship. Okay, so now we're just gonna be walking past the pool on deck 14. There's all these areas on the side in the shade and there are lots and lots of seats out in the sun. It's a little on the emptier side because we're in port today. We're gonna just continue on this side. It's Ocean View Cafe right ahead. And you can just walk straight and walk into Ocean View Cafe. Over there. Or you can enter through here. And this will take us through the elevator bank and here we are at deck 14 aft elevator bank so aft of the elevator bank is the ocean view cafe we're gonna walk through the ocean view cafe we're gonna show you quickly walk through it. Just we'll kind of walk around the outside of it. And then we're gonna come back out on the other side of the pool and show you what's on the other side of the pool deck of 14. 
It's a little bit crowded in here right now. There's scoops. That's where you get your complimentary scooped ice cream. There's a second El Baccio here in the buffet. And all the seating is on the right side, on the outside edge. And all the food stations are in the center. Now this area here is like some booths. That's new for the Edge series, only on the Beyond. And then there's all your food stations. You have chilled food, carvery, chef's favorites, grilled favorites. And if you keep walking all the way aft is the pizza station. So there's all this seating. Same on both sides, the seating that is. And here's pizza. And you can order a pizza, your own pizza. You can have them make whatever they have the ingredients for. And if they don't have the ingredients right here, they'll go to the buffet and they'll get the ingredients. I saw it the other night, they did that for someone. He wanted spinach, I think, and they didn't have spinach in here, so they went out to the buffet and got it. So there's lots of seating. And there's outdoor seating. I'll take you out there in a minute. And this is the pizza station. And this is where they make the pizzas. And this is where they serve the pizzas. And they have your standard pepperoni and cheese. Pepperoni cheese every day and then they have specialty today they have a margarita pizza and they have a sweet chili pork pizza hmm. and they have some toppings that you can put on it chili flakes parmesan cheese and oregano and today they also have garlic bread sometimes they have a stromboli or calzone as well just opposite the pizza are doors to go outside. So you can take your pizza or your food from Ocean View Cafe, or just come out here. You don't have to come out and eat necessarily. Let's go this way. It's just a small area. You can come outside and sit, have your food, just sit out here read a book, have a cocktail, and there's access to the rooftop garden and the sunset bar, and we will show you that when we show you deck 16. Going back inside to the cafe, Ocean View Cafe, your buffet, and over here on this side is the Ocean View Bar. On most of the other ships, at least all of the other ships, I think, the Ocean View Bar is outside. Here, it's inside. It's the very back of the buffet near the pizza. And here's a drink station. There are several of these throughout the buffet. You can help yourself to water, juice, coffee, tea, they usually have lemonade, some kind of a fruit juice. And then they will also, the bar service, if you want a drink or a cocktail that's not complimentary, you can order it from the bar service staff and they'll bring it to your table. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. It's hot outside. There's another drink station. Now we're coming up on the other side of the buffet. And we are going to head outside. To the other side of the pool. These are more of the food stations in the buffet. There's so many varieties. Today they have gyros and kebabs. They have a pasta station. They have an Indian food station. They have a dessert station. They have gluten-free 
dessert station. Oh, I neglected to show you the hand washing station when you come in on the other side, just before the ice cream. There's a hand washing station, and there's another one right here. So they encourage everybody to wash their hands or use hand sanitizer before they enter the buffet. And up here, there's a little room. It's also part of the buffet, but it's a small room that's separate from the large room of the buffet. And anybody can come and sit in here and eat. And just off the elevator bank, here's the restrooms. Gentlemen's on that side and the ladies on this side. Okay, so now we're going to go back out onto the main pool deck and we're going to go on the other side of the pool. The same bathroom that's inside. There's also an entrance to it from outside by the pool. So there's a restroom in the solarium at the other end and there's a restroom right here at this end of the main pool. And I saw, we need to go back up onto the main pool deck. Is there something different on this ship? They have cabanas on all the edge class ships, but the entrances to the cabanas are across from the magic carpet. And on this ship, they put up a wall behind them and the cabanas are up here. They have access to the pool, which makes sense because if you're gonna have a cabana and you wanna go in the pool, you don't have to walk all the way around to come up to the pool deck. So these are the cabanas and these are available to rent. I do not know the cost, but as you can see, they go all the way down. And there's yet another Look at the pool. Okay, well then we're gonna go back down and walk down the other side of the pool deck. Show you the magic carpet. So they have stairs and then they also have a ramp. wheelchair accessibility so now we're coming into the area where the magic carpet is and the magic carpet is on the right and on the left where these walls are that's where the entrance to the cabanas were and the wall was in the back of them on the pool side so now if you have a cabana you have just direct access, access to the pool, which makes so much sense. There are two entrances to the magic carpet. This is the first. The magic carpet serves dinner in the evening. During the day, it's just a lounge. And they have their own bar. And you can come in here and hang out. There's the bar. So we're hanging off the side of the ship right now. Isn't that cool? And a cantilever. And you can see out there, there's the edge of the ship. And we're hanging off the side. Pretty cool. Okay, back inside. There's this cool wall that they have now. Sorry about all the people. It's a cruise ship. It's only so much you can control, right? And this area here is the mast grill. At the mast grill, you can get complimentary food. And they used to have a list. They don't, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's, let's see if I can peek in there and get a shot of the list of the foods that are available. 
So that's what they have at the Mast Grill. So that will do it for us for deck 14. We're gonna head up to deck 15 and we'll see you there. Now we are on deck 15 forward. There are just two places that are on 15 forward. Forward of the forward elevator bank on deck 15 is the fitness center. And aft of the forward elevator bank is the retreat lounge. And we are going to actually have access to that with the concierge. She's kind enough to let us go in and show us around, even though we're not in a suite this time. So after we show you the fitness center, we will show you the retreat lounge. So going forward of the forward elevator bank at deck 15, as I said, is the gym or the fitness center. Fitness center is complimentary. If you're in a beyond suite, this is where you would access those. You need a key or your CPAS card to get in. And if you remember when we were in the spa earlier, I showed you the staircase to come up to the gym. That's the staircase, that's the spa reception area down there. And this is the gym. They have everything that you would expect to find in a fitness center. I'm doing a voiceover for the fitness center because they have very loud music playing and there was just no way around it. As you can see, when you first come in, they have plenty of treadmills. The gym is pretty empty right now because we're in port. They have two refrigerators with ice cold towels and lots of dry towels, some water with fresh fruit, and this is a board that shows you the schedule of the classes that they're offering that day. And the fitness center is open 24 hours a day. And up here on the right is a BMI scale and a huge chart that tells you what all of those numbers mean. And this section here is obviously the strength training machines. And in the back over there, they have free weights. They have dumbbells. They have kettlebells. They really have just about everything you could possibly want. There's some steppers and ellipticals. More strength training machines. And they have all different kinds of bikes for cycling. They have, I think, four Peloton bikes altogether. And back here, they have additional treadmills. They also offer classes. They have motion studios. And they offer F45 classes. I'm not sure what that is. But if you are in an aqua class cabin, there are two yoga mats in your closet and they have yoga classes here. You also get a complimentary fitness session. I'm not sure exactly the details of that, but I know it's on your welcome letter in your cabin. There's a cycling class and there is a restroom here in the gym. It's just one restroom for all genders and handicap accessible. And there are two scales. There's one back here by the restrooms and a second one up front right by the entrance. And there you go. There's somebody getting on the scale now. And over here on the left, this is where you would sign up for the fitness classes. There's two tablets here for you to sign up for those. 
and that's the fitness center. They have consultations. You can have a training session. And you, these are two rooms where you can have a fitness consultation. And of course, there is a fee associated with that. We will now head over to the retreat lounge, which is just off the deck 15 forward elevator bank as well. This is the retreat lounge. And you tap your card there at the bottom and the doors open and take you inside and show you around. If you are in a suite, you can come in here and spend some time. And in the mornings, they do a continental breakfast. And in the afternoons between 3.30 and 4.30, they do a tea with scones and small bites. And then in the evening, they do a cocktail hour. And you can just come in here. They have a concierge in here, the retreat lounge assistant, and they will help you with anything that you need during the length of your cruise. They have coffees and teas, and they have refrigerators with drinks that you can help yourself to. And on the Beyond Only, they have their own bar in the retreat lounge. And regardless of whether you have a drink package or not, as long as you're in the lounge, the drinks are complimentary. And they have restrooms right inside the retreat lounge. If you're interested in booking a future cruise, they will make an appointment for you and a representative will meet with you here in the lounge to book your next cruise. Everything you could possibly want can happen here. Here we are on deck 15 aft, elevator bank. And because deck 15 doesn't go all the way through, the only thing accessible from here is aft. And we will show you the rooftop garden, the rooftop garden grill, the sunset bar, and the jogging track, as well as some restrooms. The jogging track is interesting. It starts on deck 15, but it has an elevation, so it goes up to deck 16 and back around and back down to deck 15. But it's only in the aft part of the ship. Okay, here we go. Off the aft elevator bank on deck 15, if you go to your immediate left, brings you out to a shaded sun deck area. When you walk the jogging track, three laps around is one kilometer, five laps around is one mile. And we will start on the jogging track in the correct direction. There are two lanes, one for walking and one for jogging. And there's access to the mast bar on deck 16. So we will go up there after we finish with deck 15. Remember, the jogging track goes all the way around and it goes on an elevation up to deck 16. The first time that I walked this ship to become familiar, I was so confused. There are two love seats over here and two ping pong tables, as well as a couple deck chairs. So we're doing the walking track, or the jogging track right now. And as you can see, it goes up on an elevation, which is very good. It's great for exercise. And it goes up to deck 16. That's the cruise director. They're having some kind of a competition in the pool right now. So this is where the division happens. Or deck 16. 
The jogging track is listed as deck 15 because that's where you have access to it. And what's on the other side of deck 16, when the jogging track goes around, because that's your access up here, because the other part is the retreat sun deck and pool area, which we will show you. Lots of lounge chairs. There's some restrooms right here. I said it before, there are no shortages of places to sit. And this staircase goes down to Deck 15. the smoking area that I showed you earlier. So you're, if you're up here on Deck 16 and you smoke, there's a staircase that goes down to the smoking area, which is very nice and accessible for everyone. So it's largely a sun deck off the jogging track. And because we are on deck 16 now, we're on the raised elevated part. This is where the masked bar is. It is such a gorgeous day out. I really got lucky. It's usually so incredibly hot by the time I get up to the upper decks to do the ship tour. And there's a beautiful breeze today. I feel very fortunate. Might as well show you, we're up here. So this is the mass bar. It's on deck 16. We came on the jogging track over there on deck 15 and we walked up the jogging track and around and now we're on deck 16. So this is the mast bar. Come here, get a drink. They'll also serve you at your chairs and it goes down there. And then earlier when we were on deck 15, before we came up, I showed you there was a staircase when we first came on the jogging track and it showed you entrance to the mass bar and I said I'd show it to you when we got to deck 16. That's this same staircase. And that down there at the bottom of the stairs is a handicap accessible lift to come up and down these stairs. There's the controls for it. Okay, we're gonna continue on the jogging track on deck 16 there's one of the hot tubs champagne glass hot tubs there's the other one down there let me give you a view of the pool from up here. There's that beautiful elephant statue, the man holding the elephant. Okay, continue on. We're continuing to head aft. There's a staircase to yet another sun deck. That's deck 15. That's the end of the sun deck that we showed you earlier. As you can see, it starts to go down. We're going down to deck 15. And ahead is the rooftop garden, the rooftop grill, and the sunset bar. But the jogging track continues around 
And I'm gonna continue to round on the jogging track back to where we came on. And then we will make a right and continue to go aft and show you the rest of deck 15. Now the jogging track has brought us back down and we are now back on the level that we entered over there. So that would be a complete go round of the jogging track. But we're gonna head this way and show you the rooftop garden. The rooftop garden is an area where you could come and sit and lounge. They have a large screen and they show sporting events that are televised and they also show movies and there's a movie playing right now so I'm gonna just show it to you quickly and then we will move on to the rooftop grill which is another specialty restaurant. Okay, coming around. Looks pretty cool looking. Sure. Okay. It's a plunge pool. And there's a second one right next to it. And these are located just outside the entrance to the rooftop garden. And this is the entrance to the rooftop garden. Up the stairs here. I'm going to do a voiceover for this part because there's a movie playing and I didn't want to interrupt the movie and talk out loud. And because of the movie, I didn't want a copyright issue with YouTube. So this is the rooftop garden. Those huge umbrellas offer a lot of shade. So you have an option of sitting in the sun or sitting in the shade. All of these plants that you see are real. And there is also the rooftop garden grill. And that's what we're entering right now. The rooftop garden grill is a specialty restaurant. You need to make a reservation and it does have a cover charge per person. I've heard very good things about it. John and I have never eaten here, but we certainly plan to in the near future. It's very pretty and I've heard the food is excellent. So hopefully we'll have a video of our dining experience here soon. And now we are going to leave the rooftop garden area. And as we exit, coming up here on our left, you will see additional seating for the rooftop garden grill. And on our right, you will see additional seating for just observation. These chairs on my right are very comfortable. They have little tables in front of them so you can sit there and have a cocktail and watch the sunset. Now we're headed down into the Sunset Bar. The design for the Sunset Bar on the Beyond is very different from the Apex and the Edge. The Apex and the Edge does not have any shaded spot to sit at the Sunset Bar. And so for that reason, that bar is pretty empty on both of those ships during the day because you just can't sit in the hot sun all day like that at a bar. So they made this new design and it's an absolutely gorgeous space and it provides the shade that people need. And up here you can see they have additional seating. It's very, very pretty. There's so many spots to sit. The space for the Sunset Bar is so much larger than on the Apex and the Edge. Um, there's actually a second deck. You can see that's down there. That's part of the Sunset Bar. And we're gonna go down there in a minute. But in the meantime, let's finish up here. You can see there's seating all the way around on this deck. On the right, there's some two seat groupings. And on the left, they've got these couches with a pergola type over them. And there's the sign for the Sunset Bar. And look at all the pretty plants and the flowers. They're all real. It's so beautiful. And there's the other plunge pool. And there's an area here where you can sit and hang out while utilizing the plunge pool. And this is 
the new addition to the Sunset Bar space. The space on my left is actually a smoking area. So for those of you that smoke, there's a spot for you at the Sunset Bar as well. And a couple steps down. I love these little, it's almost like little living rooms. And then here's even more space. This is all for the Sunset Bar. And straight ahead down those stairs is the seating from the Ocean View Cafe, the outdoor seating that we showed you earlier. And that does it for us on deck 15. We'll see you on deck 16. Here we are 16. on deck 16 forward. And these are the only two places that are located up here. Lumine, which is the suite only dining and the retreat sun deck. Now we are headed up to the retreat sun deck. That's the concierge in front of us. She's taking us up through the retreat lounge and up the staircase. I just want to point out to you that this space that we're walking into right now, on the apex and on the edge, this is an outdoor deck on those two ships. On the beyond, they redesigned it and they expanded the retreat lounge into this space to make it a lot larger. Now we're going up the steps to deck 16, the sun deck, and then eventually deck 17, the bar and the pool. At the top of the stairs is the sun deck, and we are going into the space where the edge villas are located. This would be the door directly to the villa, and they are the same as on the edge and the apex. The difference is each villa has its own little porch and Lumine is located right here on deck 16. So if you're staying in an edge villa, you just walk outside the villa, cross this hallway, and there's the entrance to the suite only dining room, Lumine. And here are the hours of Lumine on a port We're day. Take a quick look around in Lumine. This is the special dining for sweet guests and you can see here that there's a direct access to the retreat sun deck this is on deck 16 and just come inside we're just going to take a quick look around oh wow this is so different this is gorgeous so i thought the Lumine dining room was incredible on the edge and apex. This is next level. First of all, it's quite large, but the way that it's designed, the room curves, so it has like a two room feel. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way around. How far does it go? So I'm standing in the middle and I'm going to give just a, from one end of the room to the other. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm very excited to stay in a suite on December 11th to the 18th. And we will record our meals in Lumine and more details on the experience. Yes, as John pointed out, December 11th, 2022. So coming soon. So this is Lumine on the Celebrity Beyond. Now continuing on the retreat sun deck. Look how cute this is. They have plants and everything on their little porches. Okay, we're gonna go back out into the sun. So it's quite bright. There's lots of sun deck chairs. Very nice. So on the beyond, they have two levels to their retreat sun deck and pool area. They have little cabanas and everything is on a first come first serve basis. Okay. And there's more space over here. 
And then on the second level, deck 17 are the pools and the jacuzzis. So this is the pool and bar deck. So deck 17 is new to the beyond. It's the only celebrity ship that has 17 decks. Hot tub. Very nice. It's beautiful. Also helping. <laughs> They're serving fruit on skewers. There's lots of space under the shade. And they much bigger. And they have these lovely umbrellas. So there's a lot more shaded areas. And here's the pool. And it goes all the way around. And over here, they have a bar. So you can get drinks and they have a limited menu as well. And then they have lots and lots of servers. You will want for nothing when you're in the retreat. It is an amazing space on an incredibly beautiful ship. Absolutely beautiful. And there's another hot tub. And then there's a view from up above. We are very fortunate to have had this opportunity to do a full ship tour of the beautiful Celebrity Beyond. We thank you so much for watching, and as always, we hope you have a wonderful day.